सो वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार दिस इज इंद्रजीत मुखर्जी एंड टुडे वंस अगेन आई हैव कम बैक विथ अ न्यू वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ एज अ ट्रेडर हाउ एज अ ट्रेडर और इन्वेस्टर यू कैन एनालाइज डेटा यूजिंग पाइथन सो नाउ गाइज यू आर यूजिंग मेनी सॉफ्टवेयर सो सम ऑफ यू आर यूजिंग trading view some of you are using any broker meta stock or something like that there are in number of softwares but nowadays one software one piece of software is very important to analyze the stock market data and that is python now guys stock market is something where you need to analyze data so stock market works on data analysis if you can analyze the data properly you can trade in the market you can trade in the market well uh, so you need to be informed because those who are not analyzing data just blindly trading or investing they makes loss so guys here i'll show you how you can analyze data using python and this is the first video of this playlist so later i'll also show you some advanced things uh, but first i'll show you how basic things how you can uh, download python how you can uh, download the python interpreter how you can write simple codes over there and how you can analyze the stock market data from the nse or bse market so uh, let me open a browser window let me open a new window and here you can see uh, let me write python so python download for windows yeah as i am using a uh, windows pc i'll download python from uh, the python.org and download it for windows so let me go to the first link so you can see download python 3.1 2.1 there are previous versions also or the other releases so just i stick to download python 3.1 2.1 so you can click here and you can save it to your downloads so you can see the python is being downloaded now i already have python installed in my pc so here if you run the python installer if you click on run it will give you the options so i'll just uh, show you the options i'll not install it right now you can see uh, the options uh, it is giving an option uh, and make sure that you add python.exe to path so make sure while you install python make sure that you add this python.exe to your path so for that you can run python from anywhere from any command line or anything you can run this python so you need to click here add python.exe to path and then you can click on install now so i am not installing it right now because i am already having this python installed in my system so i'll be cancelling now you have downloaded python but where you will write the codes so there are also uh, many places where you can write the codes but i use a simple uh, id python id uh, i use pycharm for that so now you need to download pycharm as well so uh, write pycharm so here the download option is there so pycharm is the python id for professional developers so go to this download page i'll go to the download page there is a pycharm professional option is there and there is a free community edition so this professional option is actually a paid version but you can use the community edition so here there is a download option so just download and install this Py pycharm community edition and uh, download and then install so uh, i already have this pycharm uh, installed in my system so i am not downloading it right now but you need to download and install so there is no 
catch you can download and install and you can run and this is a simple how pycharm will be uh, opened so this is a pycharm window so already we have installed python and we have installed the id for python so we have installed the pycharm in our system so now you are good to go to analyze the data using pycharm so guys uh, let me go to this thing let me search for nac python so nac python is a library so there is a nac python documentation you can see this is maintained by a company called anoffice.com so let me go to the nac python documentation let me close this window you can see nac python is a python library to pub get publicly available data on nac website okay so this data is publicly uh, available and they are having their github page also so you can see the same thing on their github page but first i'll show you how you can install the nac python so there is a pip command for that pip install nac python you need to copy it and we already have installed pycharm so in this pycharm we will create a new project here we'll uh, suppose we'll give a name data analysis uh, let me make it nac data analysis nac data analysis let us click create so this is actually creating a new project for me this will take some time so guys we have already copied this pip install nac python and we have also created a new project so let me close my old project so i am only having the new project over here and now we will actually install the nac python library over here so for that let us go to terminal so this is the terminal and now let me paste the pip install nac python so this will install the nac python library in our project so you can see this is installing this will also take some time depending on your system So guys you can see uh, the installation of nac python is complete and now it is indexing the library so this will also take some time depending on your system speed this will also update the skeletons so this is updating the skeletons overall this is a heavy package so it will take some time so now guys finally the nac python library is installed and now we will see how we can analyze the data so we will go back to the documentation here you can see now the first thing that you need to input is you need to import the nac python library in your pycharm so from nac python import star this is the first thing that you need to write in the pycharm so here this is a simple command from nac python import star and print indices so this will print the name of the indices let me copy it let me create a new file so new python file and let me give it a name data analysis this is a python file so you can see the data analysis.py file is opened let me paste from nsc python import star and let me paste and now let me run this will print the indices you can see 
the indices name is printed nifty fin nifty and bank nifty so our system is working now let me go back and let me do some more jobs suppose there are many options over here so there are many options over here you can see print nac tools underscore get quote reliance so this will get the price of reliance so let us keep the first line intact and the second line just i am changing this will give me the price of reliance you can see it has given me the total nac website data over here how to analyze this i'll uh, tell you later so this is getting the total quote for this reliance now let me go back to here and now we will check the equity history the history historical data that we will try to download you can see equity history the example usage is equity history equity underscore history symbol series start date and end date so let us copy this one symbol is sbin series is equity start date is given here and end date is given here and print uh, then print equity history and this will print the data let me go back here symbol sbn let me change the data as per my need let me change the date 11 2024 till suppose 20 01 2024 let me run the current file so you can see the sbin data is given here first january second january and so on last one last date was 21 2024 so 20 january quote is also there so this is how you can download the data so now uh, this is the stock quote and we will try to get the uh, equity history derivatives history same derivatives history you can see symbol sbin same things just first line keep it intact because this is the importing the library so symbol sbin suppose we are trying to download the data the same let us keep it here instrument type options expiry date 24 june 2021 strike price 300 option price pe and print derivative history you can see that particular data is printed so here you can actually change the start date end date you can put your expiry date you can put your strike price you can put your option type let me check this month's expiry date so the last thursday of this month is 25th so 25 january j a n 2024 and suppose start date is 15 january 2024 and end date is 28th january 2024 now let me check the current price of sbin state bank of india current price is 631 so suppose i'll check the 600 uh, strike price call option 600 strike price instead of pe i'll write it ce so 
we have given our symbol, we have given our start date, we have given our end date, instrument type is options, expiry date is 25 Jan 2024, strike price is 600, option type C and this will print the data. Let me run. So you can see we have got the data for this particular 600 strike price call option. So we can use this data as uh, we want to use, we can send the data to Excel, we can send the data to Google Sheet, I will show you in uh, the later videos, I will show you how you can use this data. But first in this video I have shown you how you can bring the data, how you can bring the data from NAC server to your Python using this NAC Python library. Now the last example I will show you. Uh, suppose index history. So index history symbol, you know, let me copy this, let me copy this and let me come to here instead of these lines, let me delete and let me paste it, symbol is nifty 50, start date is 1st March 2011, end date is suppose 28th of January, 28th of January 2024. So this will print the nifty index data for this time period. So suppose this is, uh, let me make it 2015, 2015 to the current date. Let me run. You can see the nifty 50 data is printed. So you can see the first date was 2nd March 2015 and the last date is 20th January 2024. So open high low close so last close is 21571.80 and let me check whether this data is correct or not let me go to nifty 50 nifty index so nifty 50 you can see 21571.80 and here the data we have got 21571.80 so data is coming correctly so this is how you can import data from NAC server to your PyCharm, to your Python. So guys, in this video, I have shown you how you can install Python. As a beginner, you do not know anything, how you can install Python, how you can download and install Python, how you can download and install the Python ID uh, called PyCharm and how you can install a Python library to analyze the NAC data and how you can download data using Python. So in the next videos, uh, this, is a, this will be a playlist. So this will be a playlist for Python. In the next videos, I will show you how you can use this data, how, how you can analyze this data, how you can uh, install other libraries for uh, technical analysis, there are libraries like TLEB, so you can install these libraries and how you can get uh, a complete picture of the stock market in your Python. So guys, if you have liked this video, please give a thumbs up and do comment your requirements, do comment below this video and make sure that you like and share this video maximum with your friends and relatives. So guys, till we meet in the next videos, till then, bye bye, namaskar.